Dr. Kwame Krumah was a pivotal figure in Ghana's, Africa's, and the world's history. He was a visionary leader who played a crucial role in Ghana's struggle for independence from British colonial rule. Krumah's leadership as Ghana's first prime minister and later as its president marked a turning point for the country as he worked tirelessly to create a modern, self-reliant nation. Krumah's tangible contributions include the establishment of key institutions such as schools, hospitals, and infrastructure projects that aim to improve the lives of Ghanaians. His emphasis on Pan-Africanism sought to unite African nations and foster solidarity against colonialism, racism, and economic exploitation. His efforts to promote unity led to the formation of the Organization of African Unity, OEU, which later became the African Union, EU. In the global arena, Krumah's ideas and activism influenced many leaders and liberation movements worldwide. His call for just international economic order and an end to neocolonialism left a lasting impact on the discourse around development and global justice. Dr. Kwame Krumah exhibited several qualities that contributed to his impactful leadership. Some of these qualities, along with examples of his accomplishments that demonstrated them, include 1. Visionary Leadership Krumah's vision of a united, self-reliant Africa led to the establishment of the Organization of African Unity, OAU, in 1963, which aimed to promote unity among African nations and counter colonialism. His development plans, such as the Seven-Year Development Plan, focused on building infrastructure and modernizing Ghana's economy to improve the lives of its citizens. 2. Determination Krumah's unwavering determination to achieve Ghana's independence led to his tireless efforts in mobilizing support, organizing protests, and negotiating with colonial powers. He successfully negotiated with British authorities to secure Ghana's independence on March 6, 1957, becoming the country's first prime minister. 3. Pan-Africanism Krumah's commitment to Pan-Africanism was evident in his advocacy for unity among African nations to combat oppression and colonialism. He hosted the All-African People's Conference in 1958, which brought together African and African-descended leaders to discuss shared concerns and strategies. 4. Charismatic Oratory Krumah's eloquence and persuasive speaking skills inspired millions, galvanizing support for his initiatives and vision. His speeches, such as the I Am African Address, emphasized the importance of African identity and the need for unity. 5. Nation Building Krumah's focus on education led to the establishment of schools and universities, expanding access to education for Ghanaians. He initiated infrastructure projects like the Akasambo Dam, which provided electricity and boosted industrialization. 6. Advocacy for Global Justice Krumah's push for an equitable international economic order was evident in his demand for fair trade terms and an end to neocolonialism. He championed the cause of smaller and newly independent nations on the global stage. 7. Political Thought and Ideology Krumah's writings, including his book Consciencism, outlined his political philosophy that combined elements of socialism, African identity, and scientific thought. His thoughts on African socialism and self-reliance influenced policies that aimed to reduce dependence on foreign powers. These qualities and accomplishments highlight Dr. Kwame Krumah's multifaceted leadership, his commitment to Ghana's progress, and his enduring impact on the broader African and global landscapes. For those interested in learning more about Dr. Kwame Krumah, I recommend these books. 1. Ghana, the Autobiography of Kwame Krumah, Krumah's Own Account of His Life and Political Journey. 2. Kwame Krumah, the Father of African Nationalism by David Birmingham provides a comprehensive overview of Krumah's life and his role in shaping Africa's decolonization. 3. 
Pan-Africanism, Political Philosophy and Socioeconomic Anthropology for African Liberation and Governance by Kwame Badwi Asamoah explores Krumah's philosophy of Pan-Africanism. 4. Krumah and the Ghana Revolution by John Maxwell focuses on Krumah's political strategies and the impact of his policies on Ghana. 5. Krumah, a biography by June Milne, offers a detailed biography of Krumah's life, his rise to power, and his legacy. These books will provide a deeper understanding of Dr. Kwame Krumah's significance and his contributions to Ghana, Africa, and the world.